What's up? What's up, guys? So for this one, we had a, uh oh, yeah, we checked in on our twins. Oh man, I think we're in the same boat. But just we all have moments like that. Like literally, literally, it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Me personally, I want nothing to do with my twin. I was just being nosy. For you, different different reasonings. But you guys may have a different contract as well. So we're going to check it out, see what's up with your twin, and then see what's going on with you for you in September. So split, tap, tap. All right, let's see what's going on with the Twin Flames Oracle first. Let's see what we can get with that. And then put some tarot on that bad boy. See what's going on. All right, I got a couple of jumpers in there. Okay. Okay, so we have fertility. All right, fresh ideas, manifest, growth, plant your seeds, divine timing, patience, perseverance, peace, trust that the divine knows when. Winter. All right, you feel out in the cold, the answers you need arrive in the winter. Bottom of the deck, we have beliefs. A similar or clashing belief systems can bring you, I'm sorry, can bring your can bring you together or keep you apart yeah that should say you this is your alrighty anywho typo okay all right so that's some good stuff over there that's some great stuff all right so maybe in the winter time we'll see some action I like the way that sounds we're very fertile so let's get to manifesting that over here basically we are just waiting for our sh our wave to come in. Normally it's our ship, but waiting for our opportunity to get here. We've been praying, we've been manifesting, and you know what? Look at us. We've just walked away and stepped on our throne and are darn serious about our boundaries. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Shout out to you. I love it. Very proud of you. Very, very proud of you. So let's see what's going on with our twin. Mm. These pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, what's going on with your twin, girl? All right, it's been a long time coming. We have invested and put a lot into this situation. And honestly, we surrendered it. We gave it up to the big guy. We were like, you know what? I got to do some learning. I got to do some soul searching. I got to figure out what's what and who's who and what is going on in this situation. You gave it up. Very good. Very good. Okay. Like, nah, I got to do what's best for me. I'm the divine feminine. All right? After having your heart broken, third-party situation, possibly. Right? Yeah, three threes, a lot of threes. Possibly with one of your friends. I don't know. Or maybe you guys are just friends, and it's taking a long time to get this friendship off the freaking ground. Look at you. You're at the point where you don't know if you want to be in the upright, or you just want to go off. Flipping all over in all directions across the board today. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I get it. I get it. Emotions are running high. I feel it. Mm -hmm. And is there some confusion? Something we're not seeing clearly? Yeah, I don't think we're seeing something. Because if you look at the picture, it almost looks like all the options look exactly the same. And you can all very easily misinterpret what's going on without the right deeds. Feels me. Yep. All right. So, thank you. So, we're definitely seeing something clearly. Ooh. Death in the reverse. Let's clarify that. What is the death in the reverse? Death in the reverse. You want to flip. Alright, so you're seeing things very clearly. You know exactly what you want. You want to be victorious. This is your end all be all. There is nothing else but this for you. And I feel you. I totally feel you. Okay, no worries. No worries. But in order to get the outcome you would like, you have to surrender it to the divine, which you have done. Alright? And now we're just going back and forth, you know, basically with the time. Alright? But we get the game. We get the game. Alright? What else is going on here? How's this? How is our twin doing? Our twin may be going through an awakening moment right now, which is exactly what we prayed for. Fortunately, it's kind of painful for them. All right. It's a lot of work being put into this. It's 
going on with our twin? Uh, six of Cups, possibly making a return. I see them sneaking around though with the Seven of Swords though. Right next to that. Bam, bam. Or maybe just leaving some information out, you know. All right, so looks like the masculine energy is holding on tight to the idea of taking action. Okay, okay, and they're just waiting for the right opportunity to go to their Queen of Wands. Very good, right? There's some sort of choice here, a decision to be made. I'm assuming to work together, to collaborate. Let's see what that Lovers is all about. Lovers, what's this Lovers about? So we already surrendered it. So we're not mm, that worried about it. But we definitely are because we're having sleepless nights. Yes, we are, Queen of Wands. But you're looking very good and he has no idea. So, okay, you're up in your head. What's going to happen? Oh, my goodness. Are there other people in this? I'm just freaking tired of this. I'm upset. I get it. You're the Queen of Wands. I get it. But he's over here worried about redemption. Coming back, putting this picture back together. Stability and security on both sides. Equally balanced, equally yoked, I believe they say. I love it. Very good. Anything else we need to know, Spirit? All right. Bow, bow. Bow. Looks like somebody's coming in to give to the Queen of Cups. Somebody who's captured somebody's heart. And I love that. You feel me? We're going to balance out this Two of Cups partnership, soulmate relationship. However you would like to label this beautiful, beautiful picture, which we see today. Oh, I like this. I like this. Okay, okay. All right, very good. Okay. Okay, so his heart's been captured by the Queen of Cups. Very good. Very good. Okay. Is there anything else, Spirit? Anything else? He's coming in passionately, ready to reconcile with this. Sees you as a Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress. Looks like he's... Letting go of something, releasing something successfully. Oh, I'm sorry. The pre-empress. You release this successfully. Bleed the situation in. Look who's balancing out their energies. Your energy's already balanced because feminine energy comes first. Ten of swords or some sort of betrayal. Probably the cycle. Definitely the cycle. I'm tired of thinking about it. Running through the thoughts, the process over and over again. When is this going to finally come into fruition? I've done everything necessary. Yeah, mentally, we're done with that. I feel that. Eight of Cups walked away. Very good. Release the situation and walked away with the Eight of Cups. I like it. Seeing things very clearly with the Ace of Swords right there. Hold on. Okay, ready to collaborate. Very good. Ready to celebrate as well with the Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. Ace Page of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Ace of Wands. What do we got here? You want to... There's an offer. You know an offer's coming. You know it's a gift, but you're still a bit guarded and defensive. You want to collaborate with this energy, but, you know, I forgive you. I, for, I forgive you. See? That's, maybe that's what it is. You can forgive, but you can't forget. All right. So, something about hermiting, soul searching, going deep. Maybe there's some more healing we need to do because we want to be able to heal and I'm sorry here. We want to be able to forgive this energy when they come in so we can really celebrate. This is also like weddings and celebrations and family gatherings and all that fun stuff. So we definitely want to like have good vibes. Definitely want good vibes. We don't want him running out as fast as he comes in. Eh, we might. No, I'm just kidding. Totally just kidding. Totally just kidding. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Anything else we need to know about this spirit? Will is turning. Will is turning. Will of Fortune is turning for this beautiful Empress. Shout out to you. Okay, I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I... Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. All right, so. Your wheel is turning for you. We're going to use the same deck. All right, so let's just, I'm just going to get a quick glimpse real quick. See who's coming towards you for the month of September. Really, really quick. Feel me? Feel me? All right. Mm 
Let's see what's coming towards us for the month of September. Can you believe we're already in September? WTF? When did this happen? All right. TV's off. All right, and let's go. September. What's coming towards us in September? All right, let's go. From the deck, we have the Queen of Swords making logical decisions, taking our time, boundaries on fleek. You already know. Looking for truth and clarity. Could be chitter chattery, but nonetheless. Chitter, uh, truth and clarity. All right, we may be learning, researching some delayed communication may be coming forth after a rest period or during a rest period. I don't know. From the King of Swords, that's what I like to see. But he's looking for success, just so you have a heads up. So he may be short, he may be to the point, but he wants to be successful with this. He's choosing to, you know give an offer this is that page of pentacle we we're coming for so what's coming towards us in the month of september spirit month of september hmm. so you're in your head having sleepless nights of when this is finally gonna freaking happen when is he gonna come forward i feel you i'm in the same boat all right it's sneaking up here with the Seven of Swords. This Two of Cups partnership. This Ace of Pentacles. What's coming towards us in the month of September? Somebody will be choosing a path, gaining perspective on which way to go. It's been a long time coming for this with the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody had to rest and really figure out what's best, contemplate and figure out. Looks like there may be a return. Somebody who was once left out in the cold. Mm, it's coming towards us in the month of September. A tower moment. Are you ready for this tower moment? Wish fulfillment. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to be celebrating possibly. Possibly. I don't know. What's coming towards us in the month of September? All right. You might already know what the high priestess. I don't know. But you've been hermiting, studying, researching. You've already surrendered and released. What's coming towards us in the month of September? Spirit, talk to us. Nice. A transformation of something. Maybe somebody's manifestation. Maybe something that was once rejected. I don't know. A missed opportunity, possibly. I don't know. Maybe something we're stuck in our head about with the Eight of Swords. What's coming towards us in September? This is so much fun for me. I'm so sorry. All right. Happiness, fertility, growth healing we're gonna end it here with the king of wands coming in maybe just communication because i'm seeing the king of swords maybe he just wants to talk converse yo no sé, yo no sé. but i do see happiness healing and fertility all this darkness no bueno but it's transformation over here yes there is transformation energy that's the shakeup we're having so shout out to you and congratulations oh it's only 13 30 13 the, the 30 so let's get let's get one moonology card let's get a moonology card all right let's get a moonology card all right hold on i gotta split it come on don't do me like that you know how to split the deck all right and let's finish this off with the moonology card and wrap this bad boy up. It says bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. All right. Let's see if we get another moonology card. Let's see if Spirit got another moonology card for us. Ooh. Spirit got a paragraph for us. All right. Bottom of the deck we have. A win-win outcome is in forecast. It looks like that's Libra. Full moon in Libra. Bottom of the deck. Over here, we've got conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Beautiful. All right. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating. Disseminating moon. Sorry about that. And then adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Very good. And you are good enough. Full 
moon in Virgo. Very good. So, shout out to you. Very good energy. Beautiful energy. You always have great energy. But, I'm going to leave this here. This was pretty good. This was a pretty good check-in. I'm a little jealous, honestly. But, you know what? We're on the same team, so it's all good. You feel me? I love it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, I hope you enjoyed the reading. And, um, yeah. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Let me know.